Hi folks, thought I'd just put a quick uh, video together to uh, show what's been happening on the uh, painting table. Um, mainly been concentrating on the Austrian command and um, so uh, I've got a, painted up a couple of uh, brigade commanders. These guys are uh, Victrix miniatures, they come with the uh, infantry box sets that you get. And um, uh, yeah, quite nice I must admit, quite enjoy painting them. Um, as I say, I always based my brigade commanders singularly. It just uh, makes it easier to try to identify them when you've got uh, figures on the uh, table. Um, moving up the uh, command chain, I have a divisional commander based on the CDs. I base all my uh, divisional commanders on the CDs. Uh, this guy here is a um, Perry Miniatures metal set. I bought a while back and these guys are a couple of uh, leftover Victrix miniatures that I had and um, yeah came out quite well as I say uh, always enjoy messing around putting a lot of detail in bases and things but um, yeah it's pretty good quite enjoyed this one so uh, I've now got uh, almost there with the chain of command um, last one is the uh, main command base and um, this one's uh, quite a large base I must admit uh, but uh, a lot of fun to make um, these guys are once again peri metal miniatures um, the flags and things I made from green stuff uh, great fun doing conversion <laughs> I haven't done conversion for a while I must admit in the good old days of the uh, plastic uh, airfix miniatures and things like that uh, these do quite a lot of uh, conversion and obviously didn't have green stuff or anything like that in them days uh, I always used to use plasticine and uh, then uh, paint it over with uh, super glue so when it hardened you could paint over it it was pretty much solid by the time the glue had, uh, had dried but uh, yeah good old days nowadays you've got all kinds of manner of modeling clays and things you can use so yeah so um yeah back to back to the present day and uh, yeah, this this was quite a fun uh, base to make. Um, I'll do a little um, pictorial how I put it together uh, at the end. Um, I think it's about a minute long or so. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll uh, enjoy that. Um, I've also been working on some of my um, Game of Thrones stuff as well. And um, the little guy himself, the imp. <laughs> uh, yeah, really enjoy painting him. Uh, quite fun with the uh, all the different uh, so I'm just going to move the light slightly and get my hand out of the way there you go it's focused and um, yeah good fun painting these are uh, lots and lots of uh, animation and uh, detail on these uh, figures are really nice um, Rob Stark himself hopefully we will focus there we go and uh, yeah one of the main characters for the um, Stark faction. Uh, painted him pretty much in the same colours as I did for the uh, Stark Sworn Sword. Uh, yeah, great fun, I must admit. Loads of detail on the figures. Figures are very nice. Great fun to paint. And uh, last but not least, one of the Dire Wolves. Um, yeah. Big. <laughs> you wouldn't want to meet that on a dark night <laughs> and uh, yeah it's uh, great fun as I say lots and lots of dry brushing going on there to uh, get the uh, get the colors and everything up so uh, yeah really good fun um, that's pretty much it what I've managed to get painted uh, I'm moving up um, I think I've got the last few bits now left of my um, Austrians, so uh, I'm working my way through all the bits and pieces that I've got left. So hopefully get a bit more done. Um, I've got one more base of the uh, artillery to finish off, and uh, the uh, gun carriage and the seat. Um, Quite nice. Uh, got a question for everybody out there. 
seat itself, would they have that actually on the carriage while they're firing the artillery piece or, <laughs> or would they have it to the side? Um, just like to know because uh, it looks pretty cool like that but uh, I imagine not the easiest thing to fire the cannon if the thing's sitting on there. I know that they opened up and there was um, all the uh, paraphernalia for the artillery uh, people to use but um, I'm not quite sure whether they would lift the seat off and move it to one side and fire the gun or whether they would leave it attached. Uh, if anyone knows, uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll be gratefully uh, received. Um, as always, thanks for uh, spending the time to watch my videos and uh, I'm hopefully uh, we'll have more to show you in a short while. So let's spin the camera around. Oh, there's the Austrians in the background. <laughs> I'm steadily working my way through the bits and pieces. I think there's a couple of battalions of line, another extra um, battalion of Landia, and I think uh, some Hungarian line infantry as well, a battalion of those. I think that'll be pretty much it. By the time I've finished, that will do nicely for the Austrian army, and I um, think I'll probably move on to the Prussians after that. But uh, yeah, distracted again. Um, as I say, thanks for watching the video, and um, thanks for spending the time, and hopefully any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you. Uh, as always, bye for now.